Okay, so we're going to teach you a different way to strum. Up till now, we've been talking about thumb strumming like this, right? Right over this area of the instrument and um, three quarter angle like that, right? So, that kind of thing. And that's good. But what we're going to teach you now is the finger strum. So, this is what you see a lot of people play when they're strumming chords. It allows you to do down strums and up strums so you can go twice as fast uh, by using a little bit of the arm and a little bit of the wrist. Okay, So here's how we form this. If I have my hand like this right here, I'm just going to pop my finger down just like that. Right? The rest of the hand is very relaxed. Again, it's like if I was holding a little baby chick in my hand right here, Okay, but snug enough so that it can't wriggle out through like like an opening in my fingers right there. Just like that gently and then poke the first finger out. Notice that my thumb is gently supporting the first finger somewhere between the first knuckle and the second joint right there like that. Okay, and what we want to do when we do this is we want to... Um, it's a little bit of wrist and it's a little bit of hand and so you just like that. Now when I'm coming down here that means that I'll be contacting this side of the finger on the way down, the fingernail on the way down like that. And I'm doing what's called the Z chord or the Z chord. You just gently mute the strings here so you're not getting that sound the entire time. Just like that. Okay. And like I said, it's a little bit of a arm, just a tiny bit, but a little bit of a, like that. James Hill, the Canadian ukulele virtuoso, talks about just gently flicking like a, piece, a little drop of water off of your finger. Okay, But the motion sets it up so that you're, because your finger bends back in just a little bit like this, that you'll never be like forcing your finger across the strings against it. It'll always just be in like that. Okay. So try this with me. Here we go. Ready? We're going to strum one time every two beats. So here we go. Strum two. Strum two. Flick two. Flick two. It's in the same place on the instrument that you would thumb strum. Should be very relaxed. And like that. Okay. Again. Take your hand here, like you've got just a little tiny animal inside there, you're not squishing it tight, but it's just nice and loose, but it's secure because you don't want to get it away. Pop that first finger out like that. Looks like this. The thumb just gently holds there. I'm not holding it tight. None of this is tight. And we flick. Try it with me again. Here we go. Ready? Down, two. Down, two. Down, two. Down, two. Right? When we come back the other direction, now we are flicking the opposite direction, and that means that that you're contacting with this side of the finger now, the inside. So again, it won't get stuck. If it was still like this, you get stuck on the on the strings, but it's just like this. It's like you're going like like that, but you do it with your whole hand. Like that. So we can go single strokes are down. We'll do four in a row. One, two, three, four. Good. And then on the way up, you go down, up, down, up, down, up, down. My wrist is almost pivoting. Notice that my hand's not moving up and down that much. Oh, the arm's moving a little bit, but mostly. It's like I'm flicking a little water up and picking it back up, like that, okay? And that's the basics of it. Now, you're going to get some practice with this. So this was, this is a training video, this is a lecture video. This is a lecture video showing you how to do this. But you're going to go over to a training slash practice video that's going to go to your rhythm counting worksheet that you counted already, and we're going to practice strumming the rhythms there. All right, see you over there.